we uh, do have a risk of some severe thunderstorms in a few areas across the nation later today. Some isolated severe weather from Duluth to north central Wisconsin. Large hail damaging winds with a marginal risk there. And ahead of a cold front, up to scattered severe storms possible with a yellow slight risk. Extending in areas much of the northeast United States, New England, all the way southwest to Memphis and Nashville with isolated severe storms possible for you. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes, all potentially possible. And uh, for southeast Wyoming, northeast Colorado, the Nebraska Panhandle, isolated large hail, damaging winds possible there. Northern Gulf of Mexico, there continues to be a low chance of tropical cyclone development this week in the Gulf. Things are still disorganized. Uh, something may develop. It's a 10% chance within the next two days, 30% uh, chance within the next five. A uh, dying stationary front may help guide or develop a broad area of low pressure in the northern Gulf. Keeping tabs on that. Few areas where dangerous heat is still possible today. Highs in the 90s and 100s will be uh, widespread for areas of the south central and western United States. Uh, another day where some records could certainly be set or broken. Uh, San Antonio forecasting near 103. That would tie a record set back in 1998. Got heat advisories, excessive heat warnings there. A warning near Salt Lake City where there's also uh, elevated risk of wildfire activity east of the Sierra Nevada mountains today and areas of the northwest United States got some heat advisories as well. So again, a cold front will cross the Great Lakes into the northeast, bringing risks of severe weather.